this one down. Need to have. Has uh, brushed off any concerns of a serious injury or during her post-match media interviews. So it's not too bad. She's able to play it. That's a lovely net shot. You can expect plenty of long rallies here. All these women, great rallies. Just land out. So Yamaguchi on the scoreboard. It also makes it difficult to return. We see Okuhara do it. We see Ratchanok Intanon do it very, very well. Here is Akane Yamaguchi once more opting with the high serves. It's pulled in. She lost to Akane Yamaguchi in the second round in straight games. So this is indeed her best outing yet. It's a lovely hold from Tunju. Far that shuttle lands. She plays her shots play more safely when playing on the right hand side. This time it's in. It was in 2018 as well, making her sixth World Championships appearance. And here's an interesting fact. After this point, free from all the stats and the history records, more entertaining for us as viewers to know what's happened in the past and make judgment on those patterns. Again, lovely play by Tunjum, who was. That late Yamaguchi paid the drift, which I'm sure changed a little bit. Two courts removed, more open space, changes the wind direction a little bit. That's on the line, that's a beauty. Try to put the shuttle away calmly. That was reaction. That's well wide. Trying to find a way past these mistakes, making sure that she doesn't repeat them again. It's well left. In, so that you see, actually stay within the lines. Yamaguchi yeah, has to be a little bit careful with that. Last two quarterfinals on the HSBC VW World Tour at Japan Open, as well as. 
Malaysia Masters. The three quarterfinal losses. That he lost one losses this year. A last tournament being that Japan Open quarterfinal lost. So she's taken some time off since. And a slower drop from Yamaguchi. And again, that one's out. Oh, beautiful. Up and rolls over. Four points ahead. In time. Pulls her out, but pushes her back. Oh, that's out. Chris Yamaguchi done too. Nice yeah, going cross court. Off the court almost. Well, it's called in. She went away from clinching this game. First time, Jeremy Yamaguchi has the first game in the bag. He would have wanted, but it is Tunjo who has to now try and turn this around. She's a game down. A lot to do. Outcome against Akane Yamaguchi. She's won one and lost one against Yamaguchi this year. As we see her in three games. That's called out in 2023. She's at 16 to 8. Trinjung, of course, the last one to beat her. But also was handed defeats by the likes of An Seyong, Tai Tzu Ying, Rachel Rakinton. I've got some fans in the crowd as well. And I think she's shown her quality time and time again. That's out the sides of the court. That's a misjudgment. Another two fantastic players in action in uh, Tai Tsui and Carolina Marin. So looking for semi final berths. Clinched the first game. She seems a lot more assured, and the errors are coming off. Left. Once more. Quickly into this game before it gets away from her. It's already a seven point lead. That's much better. Junjun dashing forward. Good save. Good challenge. Let's change of pace. Yeah, Mamuchi kind of nowhere to put that 
he's had two very long matches in the previous rounds and physically to be able to keep up with someone like Yamaguchi who just covers the court so well it's tough to... eyes like a hawk defensive work by lovely round the head forehand oh, it out. head cross court forehand still a four point lead for the world champion world number two make that five Yamaguchi tries to come forward. Oh, she missed that completely. Like once the shuffle got the tape. But surely keeping the score moving upwards, Yamaguchi, and uh, from the Indonesian. And again, just fatigue than anything else. Feeling fatigue, that's beautiful. Oh, she did well to he has a seven point cushion here. Three points in a row now. Yeah. And again, she goes. That's yeah, called out. up against her. And again, lovely drops. At the moment, Yamaguchi, that stand it out, and that means the Akane Yamaguchi seals the victory eventually.